Hi, this is Heidi from Garden Crossings and I'm out in my garden today. It's a nice fall day. It's like 65 or so. And we've had a couple frosts and freezes. So I wanted to make for sure I could get out in my garden and get some of these annuals dug out before the ground gets frozen. I remember last year I was gonna do it and the ground was so frozen I couldn't even get into the ground to dig them out. So I had to wait until spring. So even if you don't have time to get all of your annuals out of your garden, let me show you what I'm doing. So that way maybe this will be a helpful tip for you as well. All right, so we had all kinds of sun patients that were lining this whole garden bed here. And I've removed all of them that are over in that garden. And in this garden, what I've done is I've dug them out and just kind of like lifted them in the air and let them kind of fall to the ground. So that way they are dug out of the holes and are gonna be easy to, um, easy to remove when we're ready to remove them. So this garden here, we are removing them now, um, but we have plenty more areas where this needs to be done. So along the back garden bed here, that too is all lined with sun patients. That's right, what's right up against the grass there. It kind of looks black. So that area, I don't have enough trash space to dump those in the compost today, but I'm gonna go in and just dig those all up, turn them up. That way when we do have space in the garbage and if it has gotten cold, we can just lift them off the soil and plant, place them into our garbage barrel. Um, so this is going into the recycle bin for the yard waste. And yeah, hopefully um, we'll be able to do this a couple more weeks before it just is too cold to do this. This is Heidi from Garden Crossings out in my garden today doing a little fall maintenance. 